What's going on guys? Dustin right here on how we're gonna get to 100%. So before I get any further into the video, if you could please turn on your post notifications and subscribe to my channel so we can get closer and closer to 100% together. Now, today's video is gonna be about, should I buy a home now? Should I wait? Did I miss the perfect opportunity? What should I do? right? The real estate market's shifting pretty aggressively. And I want to go over with you if right now is a good time to buy real estate. So stay tuned with me. I'm going to go over the most important things you should think about before you purchase a home, whether it be your single family residence, your primary residence, or an investment property for you. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the question is, is right now a good time to buy a home, right? Is it a good time to buy an investment? Is it a good time to buy a primary residence, right? So I'm going to talk about my area specifically, and we can associate it with Florida, right? Because I'm pretty familiar with the Florida real estate market, even more familiar with the Martin County, St. Lucie County real estate market, because that's where I have grown my business and where I live. So is it a good time to buy a home? Right. So there's a few things we have to look at. A lot of conversations that I've had with people prior to today's real estate market conditions, their big concern was the market's too hot. You know, prices are very high. I don't want to buy a home in this ridiculous market. Right. So those same individuals waited, waited. Now we're in a different real estate market. Things have changed. Prices are coming down pretty aggressively. Right? They're not extremely, extremely different from what they used to be, but the multiple offers are going away. The sold to list ratio is down at around 96%, right? Where it used to be at 101, 100% of whatever homes listed for it is practically what they sold for. So those same, let's say, individuals that were waiting for prices to come down now have waited and prices have gone down a little bit but the interest rate is now a little bit higher, right? So now the mortgage payment is almost going to be the same as if it was if they originally purchased the home, right? So what does this mean? Why or when is it going to be the best time to buy a home? Well, I've broken it down. I've analyzed every situation that I've had with each buyer that, you know, I worked with because I wanted to find out when's going to be the best time. And the best time to buy a home is when you're ready, right? What do I mean by when you're ready, right? When you have your down payment set aside, you're comfortable with the monthly payments that you're going to be receiving come time you buy a home. That's the time you buy a home, right? Now, Dustin, the interest rate's high right now. I completely understand, right? Now, interest rates, unfortunately, even being in real estate as long as I have, there's nothing we can do about it. Right? Interest rates is something you don't have to hold on to forever. Reason being is you can refinance later down the road when the interest rate drops a little bit. Right, There's all kinds of different things you can do. So when is the best time to buy really comes down to your specific situation. right? Because I've been in contact with people that wanted prices to go down. Now they have came down and you know they don't really like the interest rate. So given their position, they're not really needing to buy a home, right? There's no situation that causes them to have to purchase a home. A lot of my clients and a lot of their situations, you know, they, they really don't have the option to not buy a home, right? Or to not sell their home because, you know, life does its thing and you have to move from the home you're in or you have to buy a home in another location. And typically, you know, there's not much you can do about the market conditions when that time comes, whether it's a bidding war on a home, multiple offers, and the prices are high, or if there's not as much activity on the seller side, and you can negotiate a little bit on the buy side. You see, it's not when is the best time to buy, it's when are you comfortable and ready to purchase a home, right? If you're comfortable with the down payment and you're comfortable with the mortgage payment, and you're renting right now, 
Well, it, it more than likely is a good time to buy because we all know a thousand dollars a month for rent, 12 months a year is $12,000. $12,000 applied to your mortgage rather than uh, a landlord can help you pay down an asset. If you needed money out of your home, God forbid something happens, you can pull equity out. You can pull a line of credit out. So there's all kinds of different things you can do after you purchase a home. But it's very hard to figure out when the best time to buy is because the reality of the situation is right now, a year ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, there's always a negative and there's always a positive to buying a home. Given the certain situations, right? There's a couple of different factors. Interest rates, right? Prices, right? And the negotiability of the asset, right? How much can we negotiate from the seller? Right? Can we get closing cost coverage so we don't have to come out of pocket? Is that not an option? So it really comes down to when you're ready. Now, if you have any questions on this subject, let me know. I'm happy to help in any way, shape, or form because we are going to get to 100%. Thank you all for watching.